Good evening and welcome to the Almost OAP's Guide to Using the Flipper Zero. I'm this I'm redoing the RFID copy and tag video. There were several errors in it that I wasn't aware of at the time, but I've had a bit of a schooling in RFID tags since then, and I'll just give a quick shout out to the user on Discord. Um, whose name I have forgot. Equip. Equip uh, on Discord has been very helpful. So thanks, Equip. It turns out it lives just down the road from me. <laughs> what are the chances? Right, okay, so what did I get wrong? Well, I got these tags wrong, and I, and I am going to say in my defence that they were advertised as something else. But more on that later. So, what we are going to do is we're going to copy this tag. Okay. Now, this is an EM4100 tag. So, the first thing we'll do, we will read it in the flipper. Okay. And there we go. It's read it. It's an EM4100 by EM Micro. These blocks of hexadecimal digits here, the last four digits, so the C8 and the ED, if you convert those from hexadecimal to decimal, that will give you this card value. The FC value is this pair of digits here, 07, again, Convert that from hexadecimal to, to decimal, and you will get the FC value. I haven't been able to work out how you can... Well, what these two do. They could be custom programmed at the factory as a customer identification number, I suppose. Um, but I can't do anything with those digits. Only the last sort of three sets. But that's immaterial anyway. So, we've read the card, okay? So what we'll do, we'll save it. Mini Maslina. Where the heck it gets the names from, I really don't know. So Mini Maslina, okay? So it's saved. So we'll come out of that. Okay, right. That's an EM4100. The writable version of that is the EM4305, which is what, when I bought these, I thought these were. They were advertised as EM4305 slash T5577. I have learnt that the flipper cannot write EM4305 tags, but can write T5577s. So I think these tags are actually T5577s. Now when you get these, they are blank. And I wasn't aware of this. If you try to read one of them, and I may have programmed the one in my hand, so just bear with me. Because I know I haven't. I'll just show you this. If you take a powerful torch, okay, you can see the coil. And there is the chip. And there's the coil. So we know the chip's in this corner. So if I put it in sort of down there, there's there's no way it can't can't read it. I'm gonna read. And it will read nothing. And this confused me, and I thought I'd bought Duff cards. But has, as Equip has pointed out to me, until that card receives the correct command, it, it'll do nothing. So it's almost you send a special command, which turns the chip on, which then says, right, what am I? And you program it, and we'll, I'll show you that shortly. So, yeah, I, I just... It won't read it because there is nothing to read. 
I expected it to identify at least as something, but it doesn't. So this is perfectly normal. So we've read the tag. So if we go to saved and see my cat's microchips, my tags, and there we go, the mini mass leaner. So if we select that one and we go right, okay, I'll take my tag. And there we go, it's written. So if I now come out of that and we go to read, as you can see, it's read it as an EM4100, an EM micro, and everything is the same as the original tag. So we've just cloned this completely blank tag with that one and then of course we've saved it so we can let's exit so again if we go saved mini and I go right there we go another tag written and you can do as many of those as you want. And that is how to copy the EM41, at least 100. Now, I don't have any other tags with any, of any other, I tell a lie. I don't think this works. This is a Pack Stanley tag, that I do know. But unfortunately, it suffered a bit of damage, and I don't know whether it'll read... Let's see. Now, I, I could read it, but unfortunately it was it was badly damaged. So, now, unfortunately I don't have any other RFID tags. But I am going to carry on experimenting because I've got sort of quite bitten by the bug of this. Um, and as I say, I've learnt, especially with these, that they won't, they are, they, they are blank until you you know, activate them for want of a better word. So, there we go. So that's the updated and more accurate and correct version of the copying RFID tags. And I hope you found it useful. Thanks very much for watching. If you like my series on the flipper for OAPs, or those of us who are nearly in the 60s, um, look, please subscribe. It's great to know that there are people out there watching this this rubbish that I post. So thanks for that. It's it's nice to know.